Hey YouTube Nation, what we're doing today is switching out the incandescent bulbs on this S10 to LEDs. Um, we'll go ahead and walk through the process. First, we got two screws here. One, two. I already have them out. Um, what you do then is actually pull the fixture out. For this particular one, okay. There's the old light fixture. See reverse running light and brake lights. The one that's going in, I can go ahead and pull these bulbs. The one that's going in also gets a because these are LEDs, we'll also get a um, resistor box in there. So So, literally, they are marked, that will plug in there, the other one will plug in here, right, and just for testing purposes, also have the resistor box. I'll go up and I'm gonna hit the brake and see if we get lights on. We'll turn the lights on. Okay, the lights are on. Let's see what we have. If you look, you notice we do have lights. Alright, we'll go ahead and turn the lights off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this film is cleared so when I can pull it off once I get it in there. It helps to have nails to get this off, but I'm just gonna take it out around the edges right now because I'll be pushing on it to get it in there. Okay, box is gonna go in. Make sure you wire around your cable. Okay, box is gonna go in. And I'm just gonna set it. I've got, there's a um, two way tape on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this inside of the bed here. Get all this in. There's my slides. Still has the same problem I had before. Gotta put the nut certs on. So it does come with nut certs. I forgot to put them on. If you look on the light, that's where the nut certs go now. Make sure that you have the right end facing out. There's one. Get the other one here. Okay, back in, it's lined up, okay, and normal screws I took out, there we go. That one, and here goes another screw. All right, bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side, and then I will do a 
final close out on the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, everybody, so got them installed. Beautiful plastic on that right there. I'm gonna go ahead in there and do a functions check real quick. So here's our parking lights. Let's see, we got, got them, got them. Let me move you over here a little bit so you can actually see a little better. Got it. All right. Turn that off. Blinkers. Okay, that's four ways to cover the blinkers. We're going to do brake lights and then reverse. Keys. All right, there's brake lights. And here's reverse. I'll review the film, make sure everything's good. So there is the update from the incandescent bulbs to LEDs for the rear. You saw the video yesterday on the third brake light. Um, that should be it for upgrading of the lights. So whatever comes next on here, I think we're going to be working on the exhaust because when I put the motor in the 350, I just went and um, used the stock Y pipe from the 43, which is why you hear the exhaust leak. So I'm actually going to be running collectors on there, making a Y and running in the stock exhaust from the S10. I'll just be updating the muffler more than likely to a um, Flowmaster 50 series. So stay tuned for more videos coming up on this. And as I mentioned before, Junior will have some videos coming up on his Civic. I'll be in there, but he's running that show because it's his car. So um, hopefully this coming week or on Monday now, hopefully um, on his next day off, we'll be able to go down and at least get the motor that's going in there. If not, we can get some content up on getting the old block on a stand and get stuff off of it. Like I said, we know we're using the oil pan and some other stuff. So all right, uh, this is Ron from RTR Gearheads. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. Uh, share our videos if, if you find the content interesting. And we will be back with some more shortly. Thank you.